the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, you, the respectable government officials, are working under life-threatening circumstances. In all COVID-19 pandemic affected countries, you are both expected to deliver services despite the pandemic, while at the same time suffering its impact, either by being directly infected or having family members who are. You have been strategizing and planning amidst the chaos about how to beat the pandemic, save lives, ensure social protection, and sustain economies. Your heroic self-sacrifice and extraordinary humaneness has saved many lives. Can't wait to show our gratitude to you. We will educate ourselves to be like you and become a dedicated worker for the nation. Thank you. To all the incredible government officials who have worked as a mighty force, we appreciate everything you do and have done in this fight for our lives. You are great and beautiful human beings and we greatly appreciate every effort you have put forward to make sure that we, along with our loved ones, stay safe, healthy and strong. You've been the angels next to those who need it and the strong hands for those who can't be there. We will follow your footsteps and serve the community like you. A big salute to all of you. Honoring all who serve. Thank you. Thank you, Father. You are going to be a community safe. The government has done a lot from adding more medical facilities to arranging oxygen to patients. From bringing For a lot more, instead, we want to make a promise to be responsible and follow what the government says. We thank you with profound gratitude and honors to prayers, and we promise to follow what the government says. Thank you, man. Good morning. I'm Joshua from Grade Grade Six Commanders. Medicines cure disease, but only doctors can cure patients. Carl Jung. All the doctors were working to get their patients cured and healthy, even on care, caring for their own health. We really wanted to send these blessings to all of you, working as the frontline workers, warriors and keeping our friends and family safe and comfortable in your care. You are truly God's blessings. For me, real heroes wear masks below their eyes. Thank you. Doctors, we appreciate your selfless acts, which means focusing on patients even if there are fewer lunch breaks and seeing your loved ones less. It's your endless efforts that we can trust that our family and neighbors will stay safe during this strife. Doctors, you are amazing heroes of this generation. We and all pray daily for all frontline workers. I would like to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, doctors, for being the na- for being our nation's guiding light in the face of adversity. You all are making the world a better place. We are with you. Every hero may not be a doctor, but every doctor is definitely a hero. Doctors. We want to thank you for the comfortable work you are doing. You put your lives on the line, risk your health and your family's health to just make us better. You fight against the evil virus every single day tirelessly. No amount of fictional heroes can compare to your heroic nature. We salute you, we respect you, thank you doctors. Friends, who do you think are most important in today's pandemic? Yes, you all guessed it right. They are the doctors who are saving our lives. We, the students of grade 6, are going to say a few words which come from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you, healthcare heroes, for being there when we need a new host, not just to save lives, but to provide a comforting help. Thank you for all your selfless deeds and actions and sacrifices you have made to help everyone. Thank you.
Thank you so much for all work and support during this difficult time. Your humility, kindness and strength are greatly appreciated. Any words are not enough. Express my gratitude and admiration. We will pay the doctors for his trouble, for his kindness. They still remain in the Dear doctors, we owe you so much more than the money we pay you. People pay for medicine you prescribe and the diagnosis you make. But what about kindness and care you show to us? That is something no amount of money can buy. Thank you for being the dedicated, thoughtful and compassionate people that you are. You always go about and work tirelessly towards a healthy outcome. We are indebted to your sacrifice and kindness. I truly thank each and every one of you for all your hard work. You all are the reasons why several lives are being saved. Here, even in the midst of the crisis today, you are the real heroes. Thank you for letting others before yourself to fight on the front lines while everyone else is safe at home. You all are also the reasons why people have hope and still move forward in this difficult time. Thank you for not giving up when things are hard and stressful. I would like to say, doctors, you are the bravest and strongest group of people. I quote these lines for you all. As long as life exists, despite all the shortcomings, doctors will be the best friends and the real heroes. Thank you. You are the angels of the night shift, the messengers of the day. You are an asset to the team, as is a threat to our scene. You always know what to do. You always know how to be cool. You always have the perfect touch. You always care about us very much. Day or night, we do it right. Thank you. You walk for longer, sit of a smile on your face. I didn't know the fatigues began to be far. You forgot to send me far to others at the oar. For certain cheering angel. Nurse, just another bad dude scrub your girl and strong enough to tolerate everything and soft enough to understand everyone. Thank you. Sanitation workers like you face long working hard. You don't express the 
the fear of carrying the disease to your family because your service to the community comes first. Hats off for being a frontline warrior during this pandemic crisis. My sincere prayer for your physical, mental, emotional and economical strength. Kindness is the mark we leave on the world. You all have taught us real humanity. You leave a sparkle wherever you go. Thank you. The sanitation workers are the frontline warriors who are helping us to keep our surroundings clean. Most of them work without proper personal protection. When we work from home, they work for our homes. So we salute you for cleaning our bodies away. Thank you. Oh, you drive off the ambulance in the middle of the night? The city sleeps and no one in sight. You pass down a road with screaming sunlight and flashing lights. With dying people in pain and crying. Saviors of the dying. Your service, especially amid the pandemic, needs to be saluted. We don't do it to get money. We don't do it to get paid. We don't do it for glory. But for a life that may be saved. Thank you. Appreciate your service as ambulance driver because you are working on the critical set when others are working from home. You run towards the danger when others run away from it. You continue to put the needs of others before your own. I pray that all your beautiful hearted persons drive safely. You are important for your family as well. Who needs a superhero when you are an ambulance driver? Thank you for your kindness, your patience, and dedication to the and for putting it on the line for others. I pray for your protection against the exposure of this pandemic. I truly appreciate all the kindness, and I invite you to keep your eye on your prayers. Stay safe because your life is worth our time. Thank you. Thank you. 